Now, other areas affected by the recent closing of four double eight stores are also searching for food desert solutions. And they are looking for ways to help former employees land new jobs. Our City Beat reporter Mary Mills shows us the efforts tonight underway. The double eight at MLK and 29th may be closed for good, but there is hope for those who used to work at this store and the other three. So you involuntarily terminate it. Wednesday afternoon, they were invited to Flanner House to apply for new jobs with Kroger. I did the application. Okay. And she said I needed to do the assessment. Barbara Fuller, who worked at the college double eight, wasn't just hoping for a new job but needing one. Bad, bad rents due, kids close with school. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot. And we're um, just basically looking for all different kinds of positions. Laura Land is with Kroger, which has 44 stores in Indianapolis and plans to expand. Being on the Flanner House board, um, I was obviously very aware when I saw that the double eight uh, stores were closing that that was going to be a problem for us as a community center. Um, and, you know, it's just a match made in heaven with my job at Kroger's. 87 is when I started working there. Josephine Scruggs worked for double eight for 28 years. I'm not used to having no, no income coming in. Scruggs was glad to be here. Glad to have a chance for a job with a well-known company. If I can be lucky enough to get home, I should uh, be able to find me one kind of close to the house. But filling the void left by Double Eight in this neighborhood, not so easy. While churches are still offering shuttles from the MLK store to others, the long-term solution is challenging. Right now we're in the process of putting together uh, kind of a letter or an executive summary saying what, from a community standpoint, what type of grocery store that we would like to have in our community. From A to 7. And as Scruggs knows, you have to keep trying. I come here today and, and, start, and start all over again. <laughs> That's the way I see it. No one knows what will happen to this store or the others. Next up, an auction to get rid of all fixtures, equipment, and remaining food. It will be held September 2nd. On the City Beat, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. We are told that Double Eight employees and others hoping for a Kroger job should get a call within two days.